Welcome, welcome, bienvenue, as they might say in other countries. Welcome back to the Cat Lady. Now, 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 as you might have noticed, I'm wearing the same clothes. I haven't actually uploaded the last video yet, so if you're commenting on the last video, expecting me to do something different in this video, uh, I apologize, I haven't read the comments yet, but I thought I must get back into this game because it was really quite fun. Plus, I know exactly what to do with the dress, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this coal chute that I was a bit puzzled by earlier. I expect there might, be a uh, might have been a comment or two saying, put the white dress in here. So, I'm not going to hang... Oh, I can hang it back, apparently. I'm not going to hang it back, though. I'm going to use it in the coal chute and hopefully get it all blacked up. Okay? Black is my colour. I like it so much better now. Brilliant. Also, I think I might have a good enough reason to go up to flat number eight on the fourth floor. So I think I'm going to do that now. That would be most good. Let's go, Mitzi. Let's go up to the top. She's like my shadow. Hmm. Looks like there's another floor up there if you look at the staircase, but apparently there isn't. Right, this way? We're going over here. So, uh, can I just knock on the door now? Yes, couldn't do that before. Coming. There we go. Right, step back. I'll handle this. Okay. Oh, hello. And that must Hi. be Pauline. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? I hope oh, so. Yes, that's correct. Look no further. <sighs> My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. No, you're and not. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. Anything to get inside your flat. Okay, maybe. Maybe, yeah. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I, I just like stalking her. Am I just going to walk away? Uh, hi, oh. Pauline. Um, how are you? Haven't I'm seen you in a while. I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> yeah. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> No, of course not. I... <laughs> oh, I think I'm stepping in as Mitzi here. It says, oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. Or I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. Or Mrs. A works for the agency. No, uh... <laughs> let Let's say she's my auntie. Why not? Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this. Lying through my teeth. She offered to come along. She is my favourite auntie. I very much doubt it's her. So much again, Auntie Susan. <laughs> no problem, sweetie. <laughs> oh dear, so, I just made it a lot more difficult anyway, for myself, I think. I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? That she doesn't sound creepy months. at all. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? Yes, well, <laughs> you sure sound enthusiastic. Yeah. Would you like to come in? You well, don't want to see, like, an ID okay. or a, a card or uh, something like that? I don't know. Right. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. <laughs> I can really do with your support. Why didn't I just say you know that Mitzi is the lodger? Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, well, you're... Is, uh, is Pauline about to fall over or is she just sort of, like, rocking the baby? She might be, like, drunk or something. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. You better. Fine. Because, I, as I just proved, I'm not very good with other people. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, why did I choose auntie? Never mind. We're in. Okay, so let's just what see if nice she's got flat. a computer. I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Yeah. Um, thanks. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. Okay. The living room where there's hopefully a, drag her away. a laptop or a computer. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Um, Why don't you think of something? Yeah. I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. <laughs> no, so do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No, but I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. You're also talking quite loudly, so Look, she could I overhear you. I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? 
But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Mm. Just play it by ear, yeah? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I guess I got to do something. Let's see. Can't have a look at anything in this room, so we just got to keep going and following her. Okay. Oh, I can examine the pictures here. Yep. They're mostly photos of a baby. There are a couple of Pauline and her ex. His face missing on each one of them. If she wants to cut the guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? Maybe she has no others. I don't know. She hates him, but she still loves him, maybe. I don't know. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Did you have any previous experience with children? No. Where's your, where's your computer? Yes, I used to babysit my neighbour's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. Right. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa, but my career has always been important to me as well. Okay. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. So, uh, yeah, here we go. There just isn't enough support for working parents. There just isn't enough support for working parents. There isn't really. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. That's a bit harsh. So I haven't really got a choice. Well, it's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. I'm missing a cog. Where do you work? Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's try and avoid the dad question. Um, let's say I have a great connection with kids. I have a great connection with kids. <laughs> I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. <laughs> She's buying it. I don't doubt that. I would. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? No. No, we I'm allergic to kids. probably see if she likes you first. I... Yes, definitely. Okay. But... But? I ought to wash my hands first. Yes. That's yeah, very responsible hands? of you. My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. Through as the sewers. As I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe. You know? Really? Hmm. What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just... <sighs> what haven't I been touching? Things, this and that. <laughs> You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know... It can't I... hurt. Come on. Oh, blimey. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I stroked a filthy-looking dog. I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. I hugged a homeless man outside this house. I might have forgotten to wash my hands after using the toilet. I just had a bad cold. Still sneezing a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That one. I just had a bad cold. Still sneezing a lot. Oh. Yeah. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. Yeah, it's the best idea. I'll show you to the bathroom. Okay. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? Oh, bollocks. The bathroom's this way. This lie is going to get out of hand, isn't it? Do I... Do I have to do that? Your turn, Mrs. A. Oh, dear. Okay. Seriously. Do something. Maybe I can... Anything. Maybe I take control of Mitzi now. I don't know. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. <laughs> I need a bit of time. Okay. No, I'm I'm still with Mrs. A, Mrs. Susan A. Right. Well, let's go answer the door, I suppose. Or maybe I can just have a look around here. There's a TV. Let's examine the TV. It's a big TV. You're right. It is. Okay. I, I should probably go to the door now. I don't think I need to examine the window particularly. Oh, I can examine things here now, though. Uh, a bookcase? Nothing useful here. Just books, books, books. And a few toys. Okay. The kitchen? Oh, I can't go in, but I will look inside. The kitchen looks sparkling clean. Oh, she seems like a pretty good mum. Pretty good uh, housekeeper. Most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also a guy on film, but his face seems to be cut out of everyone. Yep, just like the ones in the, uh, the living room. Yeah, okay, okay. Hello. Kate, I assume. Hello. 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 Are you Kate? <laughs> I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. Rita Tickle. Oh my God. Is... That voice. Agency. Please be a parody, please. What agency. 
The Appy Nanny Babysitters Agency, of course. There's we an bring H in fun that. and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just <laughs> a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Oh, God. Didn't you get a letter? A letter. Hang on, I said. Yes, go away. She looks like she could knock me out with a punch. Jesus Christ. Um, right. Yes, yes. The position has already been taken. Wrong address. Beat it, four eyes. No, no. The position has been taken. I'm sorry. <laughs> the position has already been taken. Oh, great. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure. Yes. I'm sure. Go Thanks away. Thanks for your time. See ya. Risa Tickle. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. <laughs> You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. <laughs> All right, you do that. Oh my god, her voice. Ah, uh, this actually might be applicable applicable to some of you. If you're in the UK and you watch TV about ten years ago, you may have watched a program called Monkey Dust. It's one of my favourite programs ever. It's like a Kind of like a, a satirical cartoon show for adults. Very dark humour, but there's a character in one of them called Kelly. And she's on work experience, and she sounds exactly like her. God, it's shockingly similar. Okay, the laptop. I, I'm on my own. Maybe I can do it myself. I don't know enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi, who's uh, washing her hands at the moment. I can't, I can't do anything with the kid, apparently, but I can look at the photos next to the kid. There's lots of photos of Pauline and her ex, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. We get it. Okay. We have scissors! We have scissors. I need scissors for the dress. Take. Stupid woman. Leaving baby... <laughs> leaving baby... Leaving a baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. Yeah, it is a bit irresponsible. They're quite a, quite a distance away, though, to be fair. So can I use the scissors and just sort of, you know, start doing this right now? Maybe just cut? I can't cut anything here. No, I probably shouldn't. Maybe that's why I have to hang it back. Probably down in the basement again. I guess I'll try that later on. So what else can we do? Do we go in the bathroom? I can hear the water running. I must hurry. That could be at any second now. All right, let's let's uh, let's go back. I Oh, here we go. So, was it my friend at the door? No. No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Rita Tickle. Well, I hope you told them to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for okay. a minute. Wait! Whoa. Okay. Oh, uh, I've got like an option here. I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. My hands still aren't clean enough. I'm, I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. I think I've got something in my eye. I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Boom. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yeah, yes, all over you and the baby. Definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly, go back to the bathroom. Yeah. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? This isn't really Please. going very well for what an interview, I is faint? it? I, I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Bloody hell, it went downhill quick. Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? No, no, no. It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put yes? this in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. Okay. Alright, so... I, I better go, um, let Kate in. Unless it's somebody else. Mary Poppins this time, maybe. You never know. <laughs> Rita! Again? <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> is this flat number eight? Can you read? My name is Rita Tickle. I know that. From the Happy Nanny Agency. Oh my god, she's so May she's so in, like please? Kelly. It's not even funny. You know what? I've told you. I've told you already. You're too late. Sorry. I've told you already. You're too late. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. I love this. I yes. I got the wrong door last time. It's what the, the right door. I was looking for a Did she forget? but I'm not anymore. What? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. She... <laughs> you were looking for a nanny. 
I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Well, that's great. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. <laughs> Oh Just God. to use the restroom. I love that voice. Wow, it's so that horrible. Sounds really great. I, I pity you if you actually sound I'd like that. I'm very sorry. Now. You don't need a nanny. No. No. Nope. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <laughs> oh, shit. You're an evil person. Well, yeah, that's great. You'll Fuck go off. You're going to hell for doing that to your baby. All right. I don't want to be judged. I was yeah. thinking about hiring you now, of course. I've mm. already been to hell. <laughs> and back a few times. They don't want me there. <laughs> it's very true, they don't. Rita, tickle, fuck off. Right, let's go. So, uh, you know, I can't actually go in the kitchen. Nothing's changed here. No, it doesn't look like it. Um. Right. So what, do I just wait for Mitzi now? I've got to get alone, you know, with uh, with Pauline, haven't I? Not, not, not look at the photos. Look at, go in the bathroom. No, just examine the door. And again, they could be out any second now. I can't use the laptop. It's Pauline's laptop. That's it. Okay, I, I'm just gonna have to leave it to Mitzi, I think. And I'll just wander back and forth for a while until they come out again. Look out the window, maybe. Look out the window. It gets dark early over this side of the building, apparently. Hmm. Maybe I can just leave. Yeah. I'm I'm actually just gonna leave. And yo oh, fuck, you know what? The scissors. The scissors. This might be really dumb. Hold on, hold on. Can I turn it off again? I can. I can turn it off, then cut it. Don't wanna get electrocuted. Nope, can't pull it. I've already tried that. Scissors, cut. These scissors. Seem yes. Enough. Love it. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Oh, that's what I was meant to do. In, in, okay, yeah, fine. Okay. I was wondering. Actually, it's a bit weird. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm. I'm terrified of the dark. Gosh, she's a case, isn't she? I, I, I can't move. Oh god, I can't breathe. I feel sorry for Pauline. She's Calm done nothing wrong. Right. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, th I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> Fine, just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. Perfect. It'll only take a minute. Can it take five? If it can take five, that'd be great. Right, I'm in control of Mitzi now. Let's go. Let's use that laptop. Right. Go, go, go. It's already on. Shouldn't be a problem. Right. Let's do it. Shouldn't take too long to check. Is that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What I happened? think so. Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout. Like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see you. Yes? All good? So it's not her either. I didn't think it would be, to be honest. What a waste of time. I'm thinking it's Brian. Or the old man, maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's um let's leave. If it's not her, I can just leave. No point in screwing her over any more than she already has been. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going Very to malicious. Go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. You're a terrible you, babysitter. But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the dark? <laughs> Is that Rita? No, of course not. <laughs> I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. Not very reliable, is she? I've had it. I'm what, is it a silhouette party? Place. Was that you, Jesse? <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, oh. don't worry. 
But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Oh, well, they're gonna go they're gonna end up together, aren't they? But we're going to leave now. Hello. <laughs> my name is Rita. Oh my god. Rita who? What the they, hell is they must have watched here? the same program I did, seriously. Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? No, I don't, no. I've never seen her before in all my life. <laughs> I can't identify her, I'm sorry. Oh, what? I thought I was going to stay on that floor. she'll think we are absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't worry too much. <laughs> I'm not exactly the most popular neighbour in the house anyway. No. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? There's nothing wrong with Pauline. No. Of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. Exactly. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. Yeah. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. Yeah, exactly. Now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Right. So why okay. do we come back down? Why do we come yeah. down here? That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. Yes. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Uh, okay. Have we taken you know into account the fact that somebody could have just. Taken their browser history away, deleted it, you know, put a magnet on their hard drives or something, you know. Oh, that's three down, though, so I guess there's, like, a couple to go, really. I'm just trying to think. Well, let's go to flat seven, I suppose. If he's not there anymore, um, maybe he left the door unlocked, I don't know. If not, Mitzi can go in and lockpick. While he's uh, away at this electrical shop. Let's see if we can keep away from Rita Tickle, though. Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. I'm assuming he's not in. Let's just try and open it. The door is locked. Kind of expected that. So, Mitzi... There you are. Pick the lock. Now that he's gone, we can get inside. Right. Yes, let's do that. Let's I'll go. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay. But no peeking. I can't see I'd what you're doing. Never. You've really hurt my feelings now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. All right. She wants to keep it a secret. In reality, she's just kicking the door down. There. Dropped Very up. quietly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jesus. Whoa, okay. Are these... Are they masks? We need a mask. Relax, Mrs. A. Yeah. They're just Halloween masks. That's weird. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... <laughs> yeah, you're probably up to your, up to your neck in bloody heads. If, excuse that weird pun. Halloween mask. There's a clown, there's a devil's, there's a hockey mask. Which one am I going to take? I don't know the legend of the cat widow all that well. Maybe the clown. No, I hate clowns so much. I'd rather not touch this mask at all. I'd get terribly sweaty wearing the devil's mask. And there's such thing as too much rubber, apparently. So, let's just take the hockey mask, then. Yep, okay. The hockey mask is fine. So that's going to go with my outfit, I guess. Right. We've got some plants here. None of these look illegal. I guess he just likes plants. What, you think that was going to be marijuana? This one's pretty big. Yep. <laughs> Speaker. This speaker is massive, and it's connected to Jesse's computer. Whenever he plays some music, the walls must be shaking. That's why you keep hearing the noise. You said the computer. Where's the computer? Was that the tower down? No, that's another speaker. Oh, there it is. Jesse's PC. Right, there you go. S oh. <laughs> oh, bugger. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? He hasn't got any power. That won't... Hold on. Things are happening inside my brain. Things are happening inside my brain, and it doesn't happen often, but I think I've got the answer. That won't work. It seems someone's cut the power off. <laughs> Funny that. However, we can use this socket. Interesting. I have an extension cable. Uh, do I use it here? Or... I guess use it here. Yes, that's it. Put it out the window, then I go downstairs to the other socket, stick the plug in... Take the power from a couple of floors down. So, who's Done. got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. Still haven't been I inside guess we his flat. Also check one flat below Joe's. 
done that. I just hope the cable's long enough. Uh, Let's find out, shall we? I hope so. I, I would think so. Anyway, we need to go down there before we do anything else. It's got to be really, really quickly. Uh, we've got to be really, really quick so he doesn't come back from the electrical store and see all this. So, it was the first floor. It was flat one that was empty. That's the one with the socket right at the end. I knew there was going to be a use for that. Look, oh. she left the door open. Do you want to check her flat? Oh! I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I, I completely Always forgot like about that. that. I legitimately completely forgot about that. It's not her. I didn't find anything. Oh. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay. Oh. I'm not really surprised. Are you? Okay. Well, if if that's At just another one crossed off the list, cross yeah. Her off the list. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't actually think it was her, but that's why I forgot, I suppose. But there we go. That's four down. Let's go. Right, now let's sort out this power problem. Should be able to just open, don't have to lockpick again, right? Yep, good. Okay. Follow me, Mitzi. Also, that hole. That hole! Maybe this is what the broom's for. It's pretty big! Shit, yes. I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? Alright. So we're gonna use the broom to see if we can get it down. Nice catch. So what it's is it? It's a statue of a cat. Oh. How nice. How very so nice. There's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. <laughs> what do you mean another Lovely. wacko? Come on. <laughs> Let's have a look. Might as well. Uh nope, not the mask. Statue. Uh shake? Ah, there's something inside it. Key? Keys? Sound like keys. Break. Before before I break it, I'll examine it. A black porcelain cat with open mouth. It wouldn't be out of place in my own flat, but I've probably got enough of these already. Alright, so let's just break it. <laughs> and yes, there was a key inside the cat statue. A key to number three. That was the one I had problems with. What a strange hiding place. What happened to the good old doormat? Yeah! I, I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it was kind I of pointless. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Yeah. You're just proving your dexterity. Oh well. There you go, dangling by the window. It should be just long enough, right? Plug in. Yeah? Yep, just about. Okay. Hang on, I don't want to walk upstairs without... Right, okay, nothing. I was going to say, I don't want to go right upstairs and then think, oh shit, I forgot to turn the plug on. But no, it must already be on. So I guess I'll come back down later on. Check out flat four, uh, flat three, rather. This is going pretty well, I think. We're going through them pretty steadily. I guess he's not back yet, he hasn't fixed it, can't see him, so here we go, let's check his PC pronto right, I should be able to use that computer now yeah, could you give me five minutes Mrs. A? sure uh -huh. why not I'll cool. keep an eye on the door right so is it him? Could be him. Maybe. It's not him either. Oh. God damn it. Okay. So we can eliminate flat seven now. So it's either Brian, this Davis, or it could be me, which would be an unbelievable twist. So unbelievable, in fact. So it probably isn't me. It's either uh, one of the Davises or Brian. And I'm hoping it's Brian. Okay, so... Are we just going to leave the extension cable hanging out of the window, or what? <laughs> Can I do anything with it? We're just going to leave it like that, apparently. And that is a clear sign that someone's been inside your friggin' house. Whatever. Fine, let's go downstairs before he comes back and catches us. 
So let's go to the second floor this time. Let's see about using this key. So I'm just going to remind myself, is there anyone inside? I think she said this last time. I think I heard something. No, it was probably just my imagination. So she's hearing something, but maybe maybe there's no one inside. Let's just go ahead and use the key. It is the front door key. That's fantastic. Do you want to go in first? <laughs> Come on in. The place seems empty. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Right, well. Where are we going then? Oh, Mitzi's just leaving me alone. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Nice what wallpaper. There's a massive hole in the floor. I know. Just step around it. I'm not blind. <laughs> Where do you think we got Besides, the key from? I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Right. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. Yeah. I really don't like this place. And there's probably yeah. a good reason for that. It's rather creepy. So there's like a f there's a phone there. Okay. TV. Nothing I can examine or inspect or anything. Oh. Hmm. He's got someone to hang dresses as well, looks like. He's got a fucking door with 666 on it, man. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. What is that at the end? Is that a TV Maybe or Maybe Joe's mirror? our guy after all. Maybe. No, no, no. It's a disaster. What? The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Oh. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? <laughs> I yeah, think let's just assume it's him. I don't need any more trouble. <laughs> no, What's behind okay. that door? I've got an idea. Go on. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is going to work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Stay here and I'll be back in a second. All right. <sighs> just, just hurry up. Just hurry up. I'll just grab the power lead and run right back. It's just across the hall. Yeah, don't I'll trip and fall down the hole, though. That might not end well. <sighs> I'm an idiot, but fine. I'll wait here. I'm an idiot, <laughs> but fine. I'll wait here. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? <laughs> what? Why? To keep yourself busy. I bet I can guess which <laughs> you are thinking you know what? when I come back. So you're a mind reader now. I think I'll be able to keep myself no. busy. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay. okay. Whatever. I'm going to think of like a radish or something. Day. How's that? R broccoli. I don't know. Cabbage. Why do I always end up in places like this? I don't know. Because you don't have the best of luck, Susan. You did, you did try and kill yourself and, well, let's say you have killed yourself several times. Is that a... F That's a phone, isn't it? I saw a phone over by the chair. I can examine stuff now? Huh. Okay, well I'll examine I'll examine all this in a sec. There's the phone. Careful now. Do I what are, oh I just stepped over the hole, I see. Right. Pick up the phone. Is it stopped? Oh, it stopped. Shit, missed it. There's no point. It stopped ringing now. Well, if it was ringing at all. Hmm. <laughs> was I imagining it? Maybe. Careful now. Yeah. Don't trip. Okay. The TV. Couldn't do this before. It looks pretty old. They don't make them like this anymore. Switch it on. Ah, static. No, you don't see that anymore. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus Christ. Right. I'm done waiting. Yeah. I need to leave right now. What has taken Mitzi so long? Well, she says she needs to leave right now, but... I, I, need, I need to examine some stuff, like the table, for instance. Disgusting rotten food is scattered on the table. Looks like someone made a meal and barely even touched it. Damn, okay. We have a desk. There's a desk over here. What? What's all this? There's stuff pinned on the wall. Above the desk, the wall is covered with pages pinned to the wall. They look like handwritten letters. But you're not going to get specific with me, okay? And of course, there. Why is the 
Why is the light moving? And why can I hear footsteps now? I don't like that. Coat rack. Examine. No coats on the rack. Joe is probably wearing his coat wherever he is. It's cold this time of year. It wasn't moving before. Uh, I can't. It's, it's not running on battery power or anything. No, power lead is missing. I have to wait for Mitzi. I have a feeling I'm probably have I'll probably have to mess with this door. I'll do that in a moment though. Let's uh let's have a look at the the mirror. Breaking mirrors. I tried that myself. It didn't cheer me up somehow. No. It's got blood all over your hand, probably. Sit down. <laughs> no, I'd rather not. It's quite dusty. And I'm wearing black. Yeah, okay. Right, so what can we do with this 666 door? Examine. Right. Great. Three sixes. The number of the beast. He probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims there. On the other hand, I read once there were some other meanings of three sixes too. Something really innocent. I can't remember now. It was a long time ago. I've had other things on my mind. And I believe may have been, this may be a weird fact from um, like an episode of QI or something, but I think the actual number of the beast is like 616 or something like that. It's... I don't know. I'm babbling nonsense probably, but I don't think it is 666. Anyway, even if I wanted to, the doorknob is missing. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Mitzi? Seriously? Come on. Right, step over the hole. Yep, you do that automatically. Awesome. <laughs> I cut myself off there. Come on. Oh. Um, <laughs> the door handle just came off in my hand. Of course it did. How am I going to get out of here now? Probably through the 666 door. <laughs> Come on. How long does it take to get a freaking cable? Are you there? Shit. Shit indeed. It's going to happen, isn't it? I've, I've got to go through that door. I've got the doorknob. It's all lining up perfectly. Careful now. Yep, 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 yep. It is a bit unnerving. I have to say. Let's see what we got. Uh, doorknob. Use. Perfect fit. What do you know? I didn't ask you to open it. Okay. Enter, I guess. What the fuck is that? Whoa. Bath bathtub. Examine. The water from the bath has completely flooded the bathroom floor. Not that I care. I just want to leave as soon as possible. Oh shit, okay. So Oh, it's a manic it's a mannequin, okay. Still, what the fuck? Okay. A mannequin. In the bath. This guy is nuts. No doubt about that. He did miss his appointments, as we uh, we learned. There's a toilet here, and there's a well, there's a power lead here as well. Oh, if only we knew. I'll take this, and then examine the toilet or something. I guess. Did I just see a shadow? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh shit! Where? Where am I gonna hide? Let's see. Distract him, please. Oh fuck! What the? What? Who's that? To get out of here. Oh, is that his wife? She's dead. What the fuck? Okay, back away. Slowly. You're gonna back. You're gonna back into him though. Oh fuck! Oh, right. Go. 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 Keep going. Turn around. Actually, go. What? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here. I'm sorry. Why did you have to ruin everything? What have you done? I have no you idea what the hell. Stupid, evil bitch. Best get going, Susan. Go on, off you Who pop. Are you? Uh, <laughs> I'm the gas inspector. No, the door was open. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The door was open? I thought you moved out. You yeah. took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mitzi, come back. Seriously. Look, sir, you are wrong. Is he the last parasite? I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, 
I see. That yeah? stupid cat. Yeah. I've been looking for it too. Huh. The little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Not. He means the statue, I think. But back, back away. Seriously. What are you still doing here? Well, I guess I can't go out, can I? Jump down the hole. Fuck. Anyway, my friend knows I'm here. She'll call the police. My friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. Probably won't do a bit of good. And I've got a gun. Really? I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Yeah. Of just to think, I was living just across the hall from this guy. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave. Very slowly. <laughs> I won't cause you any trouble at all, okay? Yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going! Stay where you are. Don't come any closer. I would never hurt her. I only wanted to. To hurt her. I was trying to help for God's sake. What the hell? Look, I don't care. I just want you to let me go. His wife's definitely dead. Get I just... back here right now and give me that blasted key! Alright, okay. Oh, jeez, he's getting close. Mitzi, it's... Oh, no. Oh! Am I... Am I dead again? <laughs> why do I keep... Well, okay, I know why I keep dying, but come on. What's this, the sixth time now? Something silly like that? Came through here, devil. What? Four doors. I have no idea. I have no idea. Examine. The writing above the door says came. Okay, can we go left or right? No, nope, just there's walls on both sides. It says through. Okay, I, I assume they're all going to say that. Let's, let's go through the one that says through. Yeah? It's open. At least to a brick wall, though. So, okay. Uh, let's go through the one saying here. Or, um... No. Let's try, let's try the devil one. Brick wall again. Okay. Try came... Oh, hang on, the door's staying open. Oh. Oh, is this like a code, then? Devil. Devil came through here? Devil came through here. Maybe you have to do it in order. So it's like four, one, two, three. Another brick wall. They're staying open though. Let's try through again. Yeah, I think I've I think I've cracked it. Right, right. Okay. Enter again. How are we gonna get out of limbo this time? Oh hi. Come in. Come in. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? There's no need to be afraid. I, I don't buy. Come in already. I might need your help with something. Okay. This is all very, very strange. And guys, I'm going to leave that for another video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next part. Goodbye. I have a great connection with kids. <laughs> I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. <laughs> She's buying it. I don't doubt that. I would. How about this is going to be a problem, isn't it? He hasn't got any power. That won't... Hold on. Things are happening inside my brain. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Whoa! Enter, I guess. What the fuck is that? Oh, fuck. What the... What?! His wife's definitely dead. Get I just... back here right now and give me that blasted key. All right. Okay. Oh no. Oh. My. Am, am I dead again?